In modern continuous integration environments, software testing is becoming cool, fun, and perhaps even hip. Modern developers are writing literally thousands of tests for their software projects, and while doing so, should be commended for their efforts towards achieving software quality. One problem, however, that can creep up on developers is that as their test suites grow, they may become too large to run as fast as they would have liked. For example, watch this execution of the Apache Tomcat test suite. It takes just over 26 minutes to execute this test suite on our sample machine. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are reports from industry of test suites taking days or even weeks to run. Can we do better? Our tool, Vroom Vroom, speeds up test executions by up to 97%. This tool demonstration will provide an overview of how Vroom Vroom works internally and will show how easily it could be used by developers to speed up test suite executions. So, how does Vroom Vroom work? When unit tests are executed in a traditional setting, there is a loop where for each test execution, the application under test is completely reinitialized. In our optimized unit testing, we remove that initialization phase from that tight loop, instead only initializing the application once at the beginning. Then, instead of relying on a complete application restart in order to isolate the side effects from each test case, we use an approach that we call unit test virtualization to capture and isolate the side effects of each test case. Using Vroom Vroom as a developer is easy. We'll start by taking a visit to the Vroom Vroom website on GitHub, which contains all of the source code, binaries, and instructions for using Vroom Vroom. As shown in our instructions, the first step to using Vroom Vroom is to use the Vroom Vroom instrumenter to automatically modify the application to be efficiently reset. We'll do this now to the same Apache Tomcat that was just running. In this step, Vroom Vroom will analyze the application to identify any classes that might potentially store information in such a way that it could be read by a later test execution, and hence a side effect. These classes are all of those which have static fields that are not constant values. After identifying these classes, Vroom Vroom inserts instrumentation everywhere that they are referenced in order to allow those classes to be reset to their original starting state when necessary. Each time that these classes are accessed, the instrumented code will check to see if the class needs to be reset, and if so, resets it. The next step is to modify our application test scripts to include the Vroom Vroom runtime in the testing process. This is easy and straightforward to do for projects that use build automation systems, such as Ant or Maven. Tomcat uses Ant. After adding Vroom Vroom to the class path, we add a configuration option to instruct Ant to notify Vroom Vroom each time that a test completes, so that it can ensure complete test isolation. In this way, as tests complete, Vroom Vroom will mark all of the classes that were both used in this test execution and were statically identified as possible leak sites as in need of reinitialization. When the next test case executes and references these classes, the instrumented code will see the flag and reset the class just before it's accessed, ensuring that no data is shared between executions. Finally, we can run our test suite using this modified build configuration with Vroom Vroom. For this application, it took over 26 minutes to run the test suite without Vroom Vroom, and only 18 minutes with it. That's about a 23% improvement. We were curious as to what the performance of Vroom Vroom would be on a larger sample of projects, as Tomcat is only one application. To answer this question, we looked at 20 different free open source applications. And across these, we found that Vroom Vroom offers an average of a 62% speed up when running the test cases. Thank you for watching this demonstration of Vroom Vroom. Please feel free to contact us with any questions via email or on Twitter. Please also feel free to reference our accompanying ICSI 2014 technical paper, which includes in much greater detail information on the implementation and evaluation of Vroom Vroom. Thank you.